Well, in five short weeks, a tax law change ends that allows you to pay 0% on your capital gains. The good news is, is that you still have five weeks to act. The bad news, however, is that you only have five weeks to act. If your income is less than $90,200, it is legal to pay 0% on your capital gains, but you must take action now before the law expires or the opportunity will be gone. Contact Greg or me if you need help understanding how you may be able to take advantage of this tax law change. Existing home sales rose 2.1% in October, according to the National Association of Realtors. The NAR noted a 10.9% annual gain in the sales price, sale pace and an 11.1% year-over-year rise in the median sale price to $178,600. The National Association of Home Builders Housing Market Index came in at 46 for November, a six-and-a-half-year peak. Housing starts increased 3.6% in October to a five-year high. The University of Michigan's Bellwether Consumer Sentiment Survey came in at a final mark of 82.7 for November, up 0.1 from the final October reading. The index's preliminary November reading had been 84.9. The National Retail Federation projects a 5 million fewer Black Friday weekend shoppers this year, but also a 4.1% annual gain in holiday retail sales. Reuters survey showed that 21% of shoppers think they will spend less this holiday season, while 11% think they're going to spend more. With a helping hand from QE3, the average interest rate on the 30-year fixed rate mortgage fell to 3.34%, a new record low in Freddie Mac's November 20th primary mor mortgage market survey. A year ago, interest rates on these loans were hovering near 4%. Congress took its Thanksgiving recess last weekend, and the markets went up. And no discouraging news on the fiscal cliff amounted to relatively good news for Wall Street. The Dow up 3.35% to 13,009. The S&P up 3.62% to 1409. The Nasdaq up almost 4% to 29.66, all advanced across the three and a half trading days. Gold settled in Friday at 17.51 an ounce and oil in at 88.36 a barrel. We hope you all had a wonderful uh, long Thanksgiving weekend, uh, pretty quiet days. We come back to the markets. No major U.S. economic reports are scheduled for today, Monday. Tomorrow, September, K. Schiller's home price index is out, plus the conference board's latest consumer confidence poll. Data on October hard goods orders uh, are due as well as uh, several earnings reports. And Wednesday, a new Fed Beige Book appears, plus data on October new home sales. Thursday, NAR's report on October pending home sales, the second estimate for quarter three GDP, and the latest initial claims complement. And then wrapping up the week on Friday, we'll see the release of the October personal spending report. That's what we're looking at this week. My name is Eric Hagan. I'm Greg Petrie. We'll keep our finger on the pulse of the economy and report back to you next Monday. So please feel free to subscribe. We'll talk with you then.